In a serene meadow, where wildflowers swayed in the gentle breeze, there lived a little fawn named Sunny. Sunny was the smallest in his family, with fur as soft as a summer breeze and eyes that sparkled like morning dew. One day, as he playfully leaped through the tall grass, he stumbled and hurt his tiny leg. Sonny's family, noticing his struggle, gathered around him. His mother, with worry in her eyes, nuzzled him gently. But Sonny couldn't stand on his injured leg, and his family knew he needed help. With heavy hearts, they watched as Sonny tried to move, his eyes reflecting both pain and confusion. Meanwhile, a group of kind-hearted children playing near the meadow noticed Sonny's predicament. Carefully approaching, they saw the injured fawn and knew they had to help. With gentle hands and tender hearts, they fashioned a makeshift stretcher and carefully carried Sonny to their house. The children's father, who happened to be a skilled veterinarian, welcomed Sonny into their home. He examined the fawn's injured leg and assured the children that with proper care, Sonny would be up on his tiny hooves again. As days went by, Sonny became an honorary member of the children's household. They named him Little Sunshine because of the warmth he brought into their home. Every day, they carefully tended to his leg, and Sonny responded with trust and gratitude. Outside the window, Sonny's family stood at the edge of the meadow, watching with hopeful eyes. His mother, father and siblings visited every day, their hearts filled with both worry and anticipation. They communicated through soft calls, assuring Sonny that they were there for him. As Sonny's leg healed, he began to stand on wobbly legs, then take hesitant steps. The children cheered, and Sonny's tail wagged with joy. The vet, who had become a surrogate parent to Sonny, beamed with pride at the little fawn's progress. One sunny day, as the meadow glowed with the golden hues of late afternoon, Sonny's family approached the house. The children opened the door, and Sonny, now healed and filled with energy, bounded towards his waiting family. The Mido echoed with joyful reunions as Sonny's mother nuzzled him, his father nudged him gently, and his siblings danced around in delight. From that day forward, Sonny divided his time between his Mido family and his human friends. The bond between the children, the veterinarian, and Sonny's dear family became a tale told with smiles and warmth in the meadow. And so, in the heart of nature and the embrace of friendship, Sonny's story became a living testament to the healing power of love. And they all lived happily ever after.